Hello there, I'm Aljo Hill and Merry Christmas and welcome back to RimWorld Santa's Drug Lab. So it is 13th of summer, so we're doing on our 13th day now. Uh, oh god, have we completely run out of hay? No, we got kibble. Why is there so much kibble? Why is there so much kibble? Did the kibble get made out of hay? It did not. So where the hell- oh, they must have eaten it all. That's fine. Well, they can eat kibble, right? They can all eat kibble. That's cool. That's cool. Well, we can make kibble. Because kibble is... It is a pretty... It is efficient, right? It requires one nutrition and one ingredient to make some amount. Where's Mrs. Claus? No. So, it might not... Oh, no, I think it's. I think it's pretty efficient. So now we just need to wait for some more corpses. Alright, I guess we'll have to make this the main kibble storage. God damn it. <laughs> this is the main kibble area. So we're still making a really good amount, so that means we can continue our construction. Oh, we don't have any steel. Oh, look at all that rice! Yeah. Mrs. Claus? Ah, oh, damn it. It's because these are all turned off, isn't it? There we go. Brutes constructing. Oh, this is perfect. This is going really, really well. We got 226 rice. She'll make all that stuff. Okay, this does need to be hauled, though. Could you could you please haul the kibble? Thank you. There you go, boys. Right, how much gets eaten? Uh, a pretty large amount gets eaten every day. So we we're gonna need we're gonna need a lot of people to die, like nowish, to be honest. Okay, a multi analyzer has been completed. So we've got a multi analyzer done. That is fantastic. <clears throat> My throat is, I just had an Oreo, it just really messed my throat up. As you can see, I just had a shower, so I'm a little bit damp. Arr, what can we get next? Deep drilling is a possibility. Um, deep drilling, we need a multi-analyzer, but it will allow, ah, I need a ground penetrating scanner to find the resources. I don't know, I've never actually done this before, so I probably should do it at this point. But I feel like drugs might be a smarter decision. We've got drug production set up, so that's something. So we'll start getting uh, some of that dank drugs. But... We don't even have brewing set up. Goodness me. We mainly we're still on food production. This is the problem. The majority of this is still food. Let's go to deep drilling. So let's get a multi analyzer, which is in here. It does require a hundred steel, unfortunately. So we're gonna we're gonna reinstall this heater right there. So just gonna just gonna just gonna reinstall. Could could you could you just you. All right. We'll put our multi analyzer right here, uh, and then we need more steel again. Wow, we need a lot of steel. Um. Okay, so we are we are running out of steel just a teeny bit. That's kind of like the principal problem right now. So they're they're at least gonna go mining. So that's something. No, no, you're mining now, okay? Don't be a douche. No, no. Where are you going? You're mining, aren't you? Douche. No, no. Still mining. Still mining. Don't be an asshole. No, no. Come on. There you go. You're getting it all. I want it all. Come on, you dingus. Good boy. Okay, that appears to be a secret compartment. Who's starving? Mrs. Claus is starving. Oh, God. Eat your food, then, you stupid wench. Jesus Christ. Uh, so that is going to give us enough steel, which is good. Uh, to build the multi-analyzer. So let's let yeah let's start getting deep drilling going. 
Oh, the wall perimeter's done. Yes. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay, how much have we got of everything? We've got 202 granite and 337 slate. So let's just keep up the slate. All right, so what kind of kill box design do we want? Because we're now at the realm of kill boxes, which is awesome. Um, this is really good. Well, right now what we could do is we could actually build an exterior door up here. So let's 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 do that. Let's build the exterior door. So that means no one's going to try and break through that. And they should just go straight for the kill box. Okay, so the kill box will need to be... Let's plan it out. I mean, I'm quite partial to the fan design. Uh, where enemies have to be, like, fanned in. That's, that's, I enjoy that. So, like, for example, we could have this be the bunker. Uh, so it opens out into a little bunker. And then the actual box itself is something like... Let's say 20, let's say 30 tall, 30 wide. So 7. So this is like the kind of rough box design. Um, <coughs> you get the bunker for the peeps, uh, and obviously the exterior door. So you can go things like, do things like this. And that's just like the basic bunker. So you put sandbag, you put uh, structural walls and sandbags all around it, and that allows and provides like the exterior shooting capacity. And then you have the funnel that will funnel the enemies into the into the space. And a charge shot, it's got a pace of 28 for for the range of shots. So that's actually perfect. So they will then funnel into this area. So how do we get them to funnel in? Well, we kind of make it so it goes down to like two. So it's so this is actually the middle point. So they can actually come out like this. I do quite like making this design. It's very enjoyable. Okay, so then they kind of, basically they're kind of forced to fan into this little area. <laughs> does that catch them properly? I suppose it does. You basically make this all walls. And you get rid of that. And basically, they all are, this is all like slow stuff, and they're all forced to join into this. And you guys can shoot and snipe into there. And turret embankments live along here. So, for example, we want the turrets to have their own little area. One thing we also I do really want is to be able to be uh, repair the turrets so they have their own walls. Oop! Something just dropped in my room. Oh, that's not my chair about to fall down, and you're gonna see me fall off. I will still put that on YouTube. So what you have is you actually have a wall lining that goes all the way around. Uh, and this stops, well basically this allows you to repair turrets and ensure they don't get destroyed and allows you to like send a person really quickly to repair them. So put some turrets around. Of course what ends up happening is you do need two banks of turrets. And then you have uh, exterior doors here. Something you can actually do is actually make that part of the entrance itself. So you could actually put a series of doors here. So for example, door, 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 door with walls. Uh, and these are like the, uh, this is the actual entrance into the base to allow you to be kept safe. Uh, that works all right. I love planning kill boxes, they're so fun. And because you have that there, it does mean you need to put your first turret about here. So you can alternate them with a block in between. Does it? Does my math work out? My math, I mean very rudimentary addition I just did. Okay, and so that's the kind of basic bank of turrets. And you do you do want uh like one in front as well. The problem is, is they do have a pretty big explosion radius, but I like them like this with a wall in between. Okay. I just realized that, does, that that's not... I went the other way around. Whoops. Obviously, I need to be doing the walls, don't I? <laughs> so these are the walls. These separate the turret lines. Of course, I'm not going to have turrets yet. Which is unfortunate, because I don't have the steel. I like that. That's a pretty cool design. I think it'll look nice. So let's get that going. Let's get the exterior wall.
pretty pretty tight. We'll get the exterior wall done first. And what you could do is you actually have um, you have alternating sandbags. Yeah, you have alternating alternating sandbags with um, what do I need? Wait, did I build slate auto doors there? Yep, those are auto doors. I do not want auto doors. I just want normal ones, please. Thank you. And so basically, you put individual sandbags, uh, which we cannot afford just yet. But actually, to be honest, they're kind of a priority, so that's a good idea. So individual sandbags, allowing you to send cover and be able to shoot down the bad guys. Cool. And you make a nice little sexy bunker. Uh, and in the bunker, you can put uh, your guys to be standing there defending. Behind them, you can have weaponry. So you could actually have an individual store of weaponry all along the exterior here. Oh, this isn't actually a lot of room for weaponry. So I think I might I might push this forward a teensy bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to do that. That needs a, just a touch more room. Oops, a daisy. Just get rid of it. There you go. There you go. And a bit of security, the sandbags. Okay, that gives us a little bit of a larger bunker area. It allows us to put a heater in. Actually, no, I still want it more. I still want it more. <laughs> I am very picky. All right. Now we get a nice, concise, bunk concise bunker. Uh, that allows us to have good shot range. It allows us to keep backup weaponry. It allows us to basically store a huge amount of stuff. Nice. All right. Unfortunately, we are, of course, ridiculously low on steel. Luckily, we still have lots of kibble. Um, I am genuinely very concerned about my capacity for rice, however. Uh, is there any other animals that we can hunt? There is not. There is not. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, there's steel up there. Okay. So we're going to send some bad boys over there to get some steel. <laughs> the bad boys. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to call them. Oh. Okay. Lost my camera for a second there. That was weird. Um, oh, auto save. No, seriously, it's nothing, is there? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go mine some more steel because uh, we need more food, which means we need more steel. All right, let's go. Let's go. So they'll construct the exterior walls. Oh yeah, we need lots more rice because we are pretty low. Excuse me. Can I go down and help you, Muffalo? You're not meant to be here, you dick. There we go, look at that bunker, that is good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Did you just go and mine a bunch of steel and not haul it back? You are an animal. You disgust me. You absolutely disgust me. Right, let's get, let's make sure we're putting a couple more hydroponics basins in this area. There's going to be a bit of overlap, but that's okay. Oh, you suck! A blight, are you joking me? An actual blight. That is ridic. Where's all my steel? Come on, man. They're gonna starve to death. We're gonna start killing animals or something. Holy crap, holy. Get the food, get the iron, man. Basically, steel is food at this point. We are literally converting steel to food. Quite literally. No, you. why would you not haul? You've just mined it. 
pull it! Oh my god. I hate you guys so much. Right, that means we have enough for another second hydroponics basin. I hate you so much. God. No, just... Thank you, God. What's wrong with you two? Uh. You guys are incorrigible. Yes, please. Do that. Thank you. We desperately need rice. There's so much more steel there. What the hell? You've got tons of steel. Pick it all up. What? What is wrong with you? You're carrying eight rice and three go juice right now. Are you serious? Why are you carrying go juice? You suck. Ah. I don't know what to I don't know what to say to this guy. Eat your goddamn simple meal. An escape pod. All right, singer, a geologist, a fast walker who is very who is a fast walker and a hard worker, but they are very neurotic, meaning they will break every three seconds. But they make art. Ah, we need art. Unfortunately. Feeding you may be an issue. I kind of want to save her, though. Yeah, give her a save. Oh, wait. Can I only rescue her? Can I capture her? Yeah, no, I need to capture her. She's 77. She is 77 years old. Never mind, goddammit. Oh, there's a starship hidden on this planet. So we get tired of it. We to the uh, uh to the other world. Oh my god, we have to go across the entire world to get there. Well, if we ever want to do that, I'm sure we could figure it out. Oh, you're cloud watching. Oh, that's nice. Plenty of priorities. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, it takes so long to do anything. Right, well, at least we are doing this, though. That is good. We need to expand the build area for this as well. There we go, build some roofs. Good stuff. Basically, it's really important you put roofing up for your defensive areas to ensure that you can actually defend it, because if, they, the, if enemies shoot at you, they'll get reduction uh, in ability of shooting, because... You're in, you're in darkness. Okay, so in the next episode, we will be hoping to continue our growth and expansion of cooking and development. Uh, I goddamn hope that we will not all starve to death horribly. We have rice production going, which is really good. We just finished deep drilling, which is great. So we're now going to get a ground penetrating scanner. So that's cool. Uh, I'm going to learn how you do... Oh, look, this is deep drill. So you can just put them randomly, but we need to actually be able to look for the resources. So hopefully we can find some steel and deep drill some steel because we are very, very low on steel. There is some we can still mine, however. So in the next episode, we'll be doing that. Uh, if you've enjoyed the series so far, you can definitely leave me a like and a comment. It very much helps. And if you enjoy what you see, a subscription, a subscribe. I still can't speak. What's wrong with me? Uh, subscribing is a very good idea. So thank you very much for watching. I was Al Hill, and I'll continue to be. Merry Christmas. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.